Each year, thousands of men and women step off of a bus at Lackland Air Force Base, greeted by a military training instructor. Eight weeks later, those men and women march down the bomb run in their blues as airmen in the United States Air Force. Second Air Force is responsible for taking the best civilian men and women our country has to offer and transforming them into skilled, innovative, and agile Mach 21 airmen. Lackland Air Force Base, also known as the Gateway to the Air Force, is home to basic military training. This is where our airmen are fire-hardened as warfighters. The changes Second Air Force made to basic military training, like the increased number of physical training sessions, an improved Beast Week, and a focus on heritage, will produce a higher level of readiness and lethality from our airmen. A paradigm shift in how training is delivered is what will make our Air Force the most flexible, ready, and lethal in the world. Training groups at Keesler and Goodfellow Air Force bases turn to a modern approach to airman development that centers learning around the student. Our airmen today are smarter, faster, and more tech savvy than any generation before them. They have proven that with methods like the flipped classroom and collaborative learning that they can reduce training time by over half and increase competency in the process. Second Air Force is creating Mach 21 airmen at a pace never seen before. Technological advancements have allowed our airmen at Shepard and Vandenberg Air Force bases to immerse themselves using augmented and virtual reality to visualize aircraft repairs or advanced computer simulations with launch control systems. These innovations provided more hands-on training to our airmen responsible for crucial Air Force missions, including our fifth generation fighter and bomber aircraft, as well as our nuclear ICBM capabilities. When the Air Force demands our best, second Air Force is there to train, develop and inspire the best. As our battlefield airmen become increasingly in demand by combatant commanders, Second Air Force consolidated their training under a new command, the Special Warfare Training. Our elite combat controllers, tactical air control party specialists, special operations weather airmen, and pararescuemen will hone their skills in a way that will continue to meet the demands of our country. Across Second Air Force, our airmen are taking the direction of our senior leadership and passionately charging into the future. Our airmen know that without continuous innovation and development of our delivery methods, our airmen will fall behind. Our adversaries wake up every day and try to gain an advantage over us. In Second Air Force, we wake up every day and ask, how do we make a better airman? Our nation is counting on us. We are second to none.